Welcome back, brothers and sisters. Today, I'm going to show you guys a standard Centurion list. Oh, you might wonder why I'm wearing just a glove. Because I have some killer moves in my sleeves. So you might wonder, what am I cooking right now so far? with me taking breaks over breaks streaming and stuff about streaming and stuff so you may wonder why i'm taking so many breaks first of all i'm okay, i'm working on a website that's gonna be released very soon uh about like the ocg meta decks and spicy decks and tournament reports and tcg as well but this is not like the, the main focus of why am I doing this. Um, so let's talk today. We're going to talk about Centurion, the version that I would play and I completed. And then an experimental approach that's not like that's not fantastic right now because I wasn't able to complete it. So I was not able to make the experimental version of the deck or the, the experimental combo competitive but i'm still gonna showcase it to you hope you enjoy it so first of all in my opinion the deck should be played this way it was showed by pack a very similar version of this deck but we're gonna talk about why the deck um is so good right now in terms of like with this engine why this engine is so good the first part of the deck is the Centurion stuff, right? Primera, Trudea, Eon, Terraforming, and Oath. Okay, and then we got the additional cards that, like, just completed the deck. If you open Bike and Trudea or a Primera, you're gonna have a Baron de Fleur before you commit your Centurion combo in order to have it protected. If you open just Wakaoshi, you have to know that Wakaoshi, by just using the um, Tilting Entrainment, can be a level 12 on the board. The bank is obviously the brick. We're gonna have Solgaia Booster. And then we're gonna have the Horus stuff. In my opinion, the Horus stuff is good because protect its 19 starters, my brothers and sisters. It's 90 starters. This is a killing strategy. Okay? So 19 starters. I was like, I want even the Horus stuff to bridge. So what do I do? If I open just Horus and no combo, we just we just go Coach King and we put our fucking spouts on the board. Our testicles on the board. And we go for the Coach King. Giant Trainer Drew 3 shenanigans. If you open the Horus stuff with combo, then we just go for a simple Photon Lord in order to protect our combo from an enter. I tried also other rank 8s. The other rank 8s, to be honest, were not as good as this one. And I also tried to run more Horus, like four different Horus. But like, to be honest with you, the discard fodder were too much. Uh, you can actually accomplish to make double Xyz8 with Centurion combo, but it's not going to be as good because even if you open, even if you open him Seti, with five cards in hand and the Centurion combo, you can put the rank 8 on the board, then you have to do your Centurion combo, draw with uh, uh, Legacia, and then after you draw with Legacia, you are able to put the second Nexus on the board, which is not good. So Hieratic would not come out, because the Hieratic, can, you can only make, if you draw him Seti, plus another Horus. You cannot make bot uh, if you just draw the Horus and standard combo with just five cards in hand because otherwise you all you have to do is basically making the first Xyz, then you have to make Legacia, and then you have to to draw like to draw the card with Legacia and use the card that you draw with Legacia in order to make the second Xyz. Uh, the cards in your hand are never gonna be enough. I can guarantee you that because I tested the combo. You can do it on your own as well. Just open with. Uh, Imseti and the card in your hand plus like Imseti and your uh, Primera 
with three more cards in your hand, and you're gonna notice that you can only make one XC8 before committing the combo. So the second XC8 doesn't really make sense. I rather prefer having uh, a, um, a, an Api on the board or a, a du Duamut F on the board, at, like at the end, just in order to draw if I get interrupted or stopped. Let's talk about also another thing. The amount of entraps. You have 12 entraps in your deck. 12 entraps in your deck is kind of amazing, in my opinion, right now, in a format that mostly revolved about entraps, even though there is not still a balance. The balance is not reached yet, because there should be a balance in between entraps and board breaker that's not reached yet. The issue of these constant um, unbalance is the presence of in the metagame of cards like Triple Tactical Talent. And the presence of cards like Triple Tactical Talent uh, makes this being always... A like, there, there, there will be always a, a switch cause of Triple Tactical Talent in between Entraps and Board Breakers, or a, at the end we are going to end up with a mix. Now let's talk about the cards that I'm not playing. The cards that I'm not playing right now are Bonds. Yes, I know. Uh, Bonds is a very good card. Um, my main concern about uh, Bonds is the fact that when you go first, it's not as amazing uh, and it's also only good as a follow-up card, but I feel like that if you complete your circulation, then you actually don't need it. You can search just another field spell. Um, Phalanx, I just, I just think that if you complete your circulation or the combo, like you are in a very good spot. So it's like the grind is already enough. Terrier is a card that you could actually add in your deck. You could actually play 43 because you have already enough starters. You have already 19 starters in your deck. And if you open the combination, you are good. And Ferrir is very good with a lot of entraps. So I don't dislike Ferrir at all. And now let's talk about a possible tech. A possible tech that, in my opinion, you guys should take in consideration in the side is definitely the Apophis, uh, the Swamp Deity. Now, Apophis is a very interesting card for the deck. In my opinion, it's a very good tech, especially for this deck. Let's, let's read it like real quick. During the main phase, special summon this card as a normal monster, level 6, blah, blah, blah. This card is also considered still a trap. Then you can negate the effect of face-up cards your opponent controls up to the number of other continuous traps you control until the end of this turn. Uh, if you guys read the Centurion card, the Centurion cards in the Spell and Trap Zone are considered continuous traps. So this card plays around the droplet. If that makes sense, just, just let you know. Yeah, and this is basically a very good card in my opinion. And also, there is also an additional value that this card has. The additional value is, it being a level 6, you can make Baron the Fleur using the field spell and Primera. So, worst case scenario, if they use, for example, an Impermanence or a Veiler on your Primera and you set this card, worst case scenario, you still make a Baron the Floor. Sometimes. And it's an additional value that, in my opinion, should be taken into consideration. Now let's talk about another tech. Uh, the other tech that we have to take in consideration when we play this deck is... How do we beat Flanderis? Because Flanderis is, even though it's not very popular, and how do we beat Super Polymerization? Because if you notice, the Crimson Dragon and Legacia, Machine, Dragon, Bot Light, you can make more Dragon, and this combo loses a Super Polymerization. How do we beat Super Polymerization? There is a combo, obviously. Because your man right here study, uh, like studies, you know, like the meta decks, and he tries to um, beat, you know, stuff. I'm a simple man, but I have very complicated solutions. The first one is opening just a two-card combo. And the two-card combo, instead of summoning, like, if you open, for example, the Super Eevee uh, Samurai Prodigy Wakaoshi, with any other combo piece like Primera, Trudea, Field Spell. Wakaushi, as I told you guys, is a level 12. How? 
you scale Wakaoshi, special summon Wakaoshi, put in the scale Big Bang K, activates Big Bang K, um, Soul Gaia Booster, special summon Soul Gaia Booster using his effect to, to uh, Wakaoshi and then special summon itself. Now you have two level four on the board, one tunnel, one on tunnel. You make the entrainment. You don't use the effect of Wakaoshi in order to scale it. You just leave it in the extra deck. And then you use the effect of entrainment to special summon Wakaoshi. And then you have a free level 12. Now the free level 12 that you are gonna make is not gonna be Legashi. The free level 12 that you are gonna make is gonna be Geomathmec, Pina, Sigma. Why does it have to be Geomathmec, Final Sigma? It has to be this card because, first of all, plays around Super Poly. Second of all, uh, Flanderis does not have an out to discard. Just saying. Let's talk about a very interesting combo. There is another interesting combo that we have to discuss about. Now, this deck, obviously, has a very interesting weakness. The very interesting weakness is... So, this is basically your end board, right? Now, what happens if your opponent... Special summons, a simple farrier. Well, if your opponent special summons the, thing, the simple farrier, there are two things you can do. The first one is you can misplay. The second one is you can fuck your opponent. So let me let, let's start talking about the misplay. The misplay would be your opponent special summon Ferrir. And you go Trudea Primera. Uh, Chelling 1, Chelling 2, and if you want to use Emmet as Chelling 3, I don't care. You can. Uh, I would not suggest it. I like to have Emmet in the graveyard, but like, doesn't matter. And, and you would do Exis 12 because you make Trudea level 8. And you summon Crimson Dragon, and then you add a field spell. Right? One second, let me try the field spell. Okay. Now, what happened? What, what's gonna happen is your opponent Ferrir is gonna be Chelling Quang because your opponent is the turn player because you used the effect of Primera and is gonna target your Crimson Dragon. Now, you can use Crimson Dragon Chilling 2, because it's a quick effect. And if you special summon Othred in Chilling 2, this motherfucker right here loses timing. So that means that your card does basically nothing. If you special summon Cosmic Blazer Dragon, Blazer Dragon, your opponent is gonna laugh at your ass because you did an entire circulation of a combo just to end on an Omni negation. And yes, it would be good against very slow decks, but like against a deck like Unchained, like against a deck like Rescue Us, against a deck like Purely, they are gonna laugh at you. They would not give less of a fuck about this card. So, uh, what? What do we do now? What do we do now? The way to play around Ferrir is very simple. Just don't use Primera. It's that simple. Just don't use Primera. Or just don't use Emmet in the grave. Just don't use it. That's it. It's that simple. It's moving like this. Uh, like it's the same thing, basically. Don't use it. Welcome back. So I'm sorry to interrupt the video, but this is what. And let me tell you why. Because this Black Friday is going to have a 20% discount on Sleeve Cheap product, plus a 5% more using the code GOOD5 to purchase all Sleeve Cheap product. What are we talking about? Look at those amazing sleeves. Oh my God! Yeah, so there we go, the new deck boxes. Check this out. Also the pack X Sleeve Chief Collection. 
And to be honest, you should definitely purchase those. Only for this Black Friday, my brothers and sisters, 25% on all sleeve chief product and 5% more for Goo5. Don't miss this opportunity. See ya. So let's talk about an interesting combo. Uh, and it's like, it's not gonna be only with the Strudo. It can also be with other stuff. Uh, I'm gonna show you, this is like the most simple way to do it. You go Yugin, pitch the Strudo, add the field spell. I guess you activate the field spell, use the Strudo, pay 4,000. And then grave these ancient fairy dragon pop and from here it's basically centurion combo now how do we do the centurion combo i mean it's very simple right centurion stand up effect discard uh here you put Primera, Primera, Trudea, Normal Summon Trudea, Swap the Trudea with the Emmet. And from here it is very simple, right? It's always the same shit. Like it's the same combo going over and over and over and over and over. And in end phase we put back the Primera. Okay. So this is full combo, right? But it's not only this. Because if it would be only this would not be enough, right? So what if I open it with uh, Cartesia? Or what if I open it with uh, Quell? Like one of the two. Right? Because that's... That's why I think it is very strong. In this case, you would need two Runics. Um, I guess a discard fodder, so it's gonna be a three card combo, but like you're gonna play a lot of runics, plus any of those two. We go main phase one, normal quem, then Cartesia, destruction, whatever, summon the Yugin, we go chain link one. Shailing 2, Reborn the Blazing Cartesia, and then we are gonna search the field spell. After that, it is... Actually, it's not even... It's, it's actually a two-card combo anyways. Then we're gonna use Blazing Cartesia to make Grand Gugnol, and with Grand Gugnol, you send the Strudo. And then it's the same thing. But like now the difference is we did normal sum. Right? And it would say Nash, but like we did normal sum and it's not the same thing. Well, it is actually the same thing. Uh, because Ancient Fairy says during your main phase you can special summon while level for a lower monster from your end. So yes. So Quem Katisha. Any runic is full centurion combo. The strudo, any runic is full centurion combo. So, absolutely yes, you can full centurion combo your opponent by limiting the amount of centurion in your deck and playing runics. And this would make the deck better going second. So, do you like this experimental approach? I think it's an, uh, obviously, obviously again, I'm gonna say it again for the people that are turning in right now, turning in right now. This is an experimental uh, approach. Uh, does it make completely sense? No, there are some things that makes no, like make, like it's, it's, it's an experimental approach because if you play runic, you do not have a battle pick. 
and if you don't have a battle phase then the uh hot red dragon arch thinking calamity it's not as broken right as it would be in standard Centuria. Uh, so, if there is a way uh, to make every turn the combo better and then kill your opponent, then it starts to have a reason, right? So, this is just an experimental approach. That's it. So that's what I was trying, like I was trying to make, I was trying to make a, um, like, a, like if you can build turn by turn a way better board, then it makes sense. Because then even if, like if your opponent doesn't play, then your opponent cannot break your next board, right? But like the, the best version is definitely this one. And for the tech, uh, the tech is Apophis, the Swamp Deity. Uh, definitely something that you should take in consideration. I think this card is super good in the side deck. I think it's amazing, actually. Uh, yeah, I actually think it's amazing. And it's something that you should highly take in consideration. Highly. Well... That was it for the showcase of the decklist. Uh, that was it for today, brothers and sisters, and see you next time. Okay. <laughs>